all right guys what is going on welcome back to red dead redemption i hope you guys are doing okay super excited to get back into playing this today i absolutely love this world i miss this game uh yeah so we started off the game in in blackwater escorted by the pinkertons who have sent us to armadillo to track down former members of our gang we went to mercer fort to find bill williamson and uh he just ended up shooting us there on the spot i don't know if he meant to kill us or just meant to injure us but uh, yeah, it was a bit of a strange one so uh we got rescued by a lovely lady named bonnie mcfarlane or mcfarlane however you want to pronounce it so uh, yeah that's where we're up to in the gameplay so far guys if you guys are ready let's jump back into it so uh, yeah it was a bit of a strange one for john to just pull out his gun on bill no doubt he must have known he was going to get shot um yeah the game hasn't quite explained why we're doing what we're doing yet i don't know whether it will over time i don't know hasn't really explained if we're working with the government or the pinkertons or whatever so uh yeah guys let me know hello there the best of health to you my dear yes press b don't press <laughs> left trigger apparently right Let's go see Bonnie. So yeah, recently I've been listening to a load of... Uh, I, I don't know if it's country music, but I've been listening to Apache, Dire Straits, all that type of music. So yeah, this game's had a big effect on me, it really has. still feel a bit chesty that cold i had recently just knocked knocked the wind out of my sails this is armadillo usa ah mr marston how are you good miss mcfarland how are you i'm well would you mind riding with me to armadillo i've got to get some supplies and i could do with the company of course you can take the reins it wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself hmm. to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Oh, I don't think we have to go that other way. What exactly are you waiting for? <laughs> My bad. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. Buzzard food. I have you food. to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, mm. and neither <laughs> one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarlane. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? <laughs> Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was Whoa. any other way out, I'd take it. 
I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. <laughs> kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. I love how they wove the story of Red Dead Redemption how 2 well into do you this. Know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. You do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. You do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston. What dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Mm. Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost at cards. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. You look like a man who's been through the mill. Uh, thank you. I mean, you've lived some life. I'm 27 years old and I have rarely left Hennigan's stead. Although many years ago we did briefly employ a French governess. Well, I think she was French. She said she was French, but she spoke Russian. That was when Paul thought I would become a lady. A change of pasture doesn't always make for a fatter calf. I know, and I wouldn't change my life for all the money in the world. I'm just saying, sometimes I wish I'd been, well, braver. Been to more places, seen more things. If you ask me, it usually takes more strength to stay than to run, Miss McFarland. Here we go. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Mm -hmm. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Hello. Howdy. Go to the doctor's office. Back the Barbara and dentist. No well, we that's the doctor's. What's that? Undertakers. Damn. I don't think we, I don't think I see any of those in uh, Red Dead 2. Talk to the doctor and purchase some medicine. I can help you. Howdy. I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. We meet again. Howdy, oh, do we need in house? Too expensive. Talk to Bonnie outside the general store. Maybe it's time I bought a new buggy, or perhaps. 
medicine and other consumable items are stored in your satchel. Press open your satchel. Oh, there we go. Consumables, medicine. Yeah, basic campsite. Provisions. Right, okay. The general store. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't <laughs> be around to save you this time. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches leading, loading and unloading behind the freight station. Honor, yes. Hit it up. You can now purchase rent properties marked with, okay. Once purchased or rented, you can save your game at each location. Oh. Nice. Maybe it's time to think about a different line of business. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Parking the is now available at several locations. Which we never did in Red Dead Redemption 2. We will have to uh Let's have a drink. Give me some bourbon. Bourbon. Hello. I sure did call him a cracker right to his face. <laughs> I'm not the kind to repeat gossip. Why don't you and me spend a little time together? Thank you. So how do we let's go and see how much it is Sounds good to, me. to rent a property use wanted posters to begin hunting a bounty target we will definitely get around to doing that Oh yeah, we've got to lose him. <laughs> Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. So renting rooms is that upstairs? Oh, damn. Right, at least we know where it is, and now we know. see the sheriff whoa what is going on here oh mate damn <laughs> that is so cool i like that let's 
go see the sheriff. Or the marshal. Let's go see Marsh the marshal. Justice in Pike's Basin. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! i just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. Oh my god, that guy looks like someone. I'm not even going to say who. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. <laughs> All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Hell yeah. Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. He's just a boy! All right, let's go. I'm kind of in the working way right now. for the government, Marston. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram for some federal clowns in Blackwater that says... Ah, uh, here we go. So we are working for the government. Trying to have a look at the scenery. Beautiful. Mate, yeah, these controls are really hard. Come on. Towards the fort. This isn't sketchy at all, is it? All oh, they'll be, be to show the weapons will We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. That's the one I wanted, I was selecting it. Right. Also, how do you select multiple targets in Dead Eye? I was pressing what I usually press. Which I think is RB. What's happening? Ooh. What we do? Look out! Rustler guard! Gun him oh. down! This way! Oh. Come on, Marston! Yeah, Come I don't know how to... Uh... 
in dead eye. How do we? Avatar award unlocked. Oh, get down, get down. Trigger then. Oh, that was Paul. That was it. Nice. Come on, let's keep moving. Come on. The deputies are making some ground over there. Sorry, yellow belly coward. Look out. Here's some more. Where? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> nice. Come on, let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Oh yeah, keep forgetting to loot the bodies. Or I'll kill you all. Come on, stop hanging told. behind. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. Oh my God. How many of these fools oh my are there? God. Are you gonna shoot any of these rustlers, boy? Mate, seriously. Get down, get down. Show me your face. Put down your gun. Looks like that's all the sons of bitches. I'll hit up the ridge to scout it out. See if there's any spare ammo in that camp. Someone might as well have this. Hmm. We have a look at that crate. Mate, this. There we go. <laughs> oh, this. There's a couple of snipers over there. Eyes up! Snipers! Follow me! Where, where close. Where? So dog can't do nothing. Clear out Pike Basin once and for Ooh. all! No, oh, I want to know how it is to, to tag enemies. I 
Come on. You guys will have to tell me how to multiple tag because I don't know how to do it. It's usually R, R, B on. What is going on here? What the hell? This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Now? Come on. I'm going. Nothing's happening. Dots, but I cannot see anyone. a little something for my trouble. Looks like the bollards won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. Hmm. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli.
Right. Nice. Large West Dickens can be found in Collar Springs. Forgive me, friend. I'll take that. There's a chest over there. Let's have a look. There's another one. Here we go. Every little helps. Right, which one is my horse? Right, let's get back to Bonnie. Yeah, guys, let me know how I can tag multiple enemies. It's usually, I'm sure it was usually RB or LB. Let's just quickly check out on these bodies. More bodies. I forgot. Right, let's set a waypoint to Bonnie. There we go. Let's go see Bonnie. See what she's up to. Woman and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, mm. I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <laughs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. 
I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Uh huh. Okay. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on a boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Mm. <laughs> right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Sure, we did some herding in Red Dead 2, so... Let's go! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Move into position behind the herd. Whoa there! Hello there. Get behind the herd! That should start them moving in the right direction! Assuming they aren't put off by your smell! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Whoa there. Oh come on, seriously! That's it. Oh, we've got to get into there. On these controls, man. Yeah. Nice of you to join me. That way, that way, go that way. They're not gonna move if you don't get behind them. Well, we've we'll got to go here. Oh my God. Not all of them went. Stay behind them, Mr. Marston. That's it. That makes more sense. Come on.
There we go. Let's go. Hello. Heard the cows down the road towards the pasture. Here's the cow. Look at the cowboy. Can't hit y'all. Come on, you dumb heifers. Don't get some yard injury. Come on, boy. That's it. I must admit this game does it holds up really well. Like animal yeah. movement. The only thing that doesn't look as best as it can is the is obviously environment, but yeah, it really holds up really well. You're not bad with the herd. Wrenching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that or you were a cow in a past life. <laughs> Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. That's it. <clears throat> Let's have a little look at the map. Let's head over to Nigel West Dickens. They ride like lunatics. Hey. I'm trying to shoot the bird. Oh, too, too damn slow. Easy. It's a lovely, lovely bird. Damn you! Oh, <laughs> it's right, so hard to shoot a bird right now. Woo! While shooting a fly bird, you have stirred the first rank of the sharp shooter challenge. Where did that go? Can I walk through that if I'm not on my horse? No, I cannot. Come on. Let's try and go around and get that. Oh my God. There we go. Take feather. Okay. Come on. 
shot our first bird. Save the treasure home. What is going on here? Whoa, man. Woo. Come on. Just about. Treasure map, eh? Treasure map. Hey. Now that you've obtained a map, usual. Oh, the same as luck in. In Red Dead Redemption 2. I've got to try and find this. There's a noose. Three rocks. Mate, I'll try and find that. See if we can see anywhere on the map that looks a little bit like that. I doubt it. Check Treasure Hunter in the challenges section of your journal. Access via the pause menu for more information. Check treasure hunter in the challenger section of your journal. Access via the pause menu. Retrieve the treasure map. A bullet to the brain it is. Just hand over that treasure. You you want a bullet in the brain? Right, okay, challenges. View the map to try and locate the treasure somewhere in New Austin. Open your satchel and choose the treasure map item from the kit menu. Right. Mate, that, that's going to be really hard to find. We'll give that a go on our travels. And this guy just like... Oh, a compass there. No, I don't want to ride you. Let's go! Wondered if I could get into that. Right, we need to keep an eye out. Is that Fort Mercer there by the looks of it? Yeah, we need to try and keep an eye out for that. Oh, 
Whoa. Howdy. Mofo is going to get shot up. I'll be having that. Thank you very much. Forgive me, friend. May the bodies. <laughs> See the mountains in the background, but kind of do look like those ones over there, but. What is going on here? Old Swindler Blues. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? What is going on here? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. <laughs> St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Oh, I'm finished. Don't oh, worry, we got Lord. you. Just sit up straight, will you? To Armadillo! Godspeed! <laughs> Press the left trigger to draw a weapon while striving. What is your name, friend? John Morstan. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, <laughs> friend. The Bollard Twins, Walton's gang, I know who you are. Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Hmm. Spare my life, I beg of you. I'll reward you well. I'm trying to save your life, you old fool. But keep annoying me and maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> when the meter reaches zero, the West Dickens will pull off, off the wagon. Oh. I'm done for! Ghost! For you to please stay on the road! Damn! 
Yeah. Man. Let's get this guy back. Wait, where is that guy? There he is. Who's next? Is that all? Praise be. There's still hope. My... I knew you'd come. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. You're delirious or playing dumb, friend. They brought you to my aid. Why else are you helping me? Look at you. Somebody needed to. I've been in a similar state myself not so long ago. They don't appear to be giving up. Oh, I may have missed that one. Oh, do one. my friend we're here stay with me oh where the devil are we armadillo we made it safe you'll be happy to know thank you sir thank you you're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor coming from you i doubt that means much but i appreciate the civility i owe you sir and i always pay my debts oh, jesus but if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're gonna end the episode there. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.